Okay, today's tutorial is uh, looking at the different parts we need to set up XBMC on a Raspberry Pi. So let's start by taking a look at all the things we'll need. Obviously we'll need the Raspberry Pi and as you can see there's a few uh, different inputs and outputs. Uh, firstly we have HDMI which will get us to our TV. We've got Ethernet cable port, we have two USB ports, we have a 3.5mm jack and a video out, that's for those that uh, don't use the HDMI, and we have a slot for the SD card and a power slot there. And please remember it needs to be a micro uh, USB for that one. So you need the Raspberry Pi, need some Star Wars Lego. Okay just over here we need to also have a power adapter. Take note of 5 volts and 1 amp max. It doesn't have to be 1 amp but uh, that's a standard phone charger. And remember the end has to be the micro USB. Okay, next up we have a SD card. SanDisk is one that will work as class 10. I've tried a couple of other ones that didn't work, so make sure you use a SanDisk. Um, that'll cost you 10 bucks on eBay. A USB hub powered. That's gonna help you plug in your external hard drive and other things that need a bit extra power than what the Raspberry Pi can give out. An external hard drive or a USB stick for your files. And if you want to get a bit fancy, instead of the keyboard and mouse, you can use a remote control. Also keep in mind that you can use the XBMC app on your iPhone uh, to also uh, uh, use your remote as well. So these are the things you'll need to get it started, plus a HDMI cable and a television. In the next clip, I'll... Uh, show you putting it together and uh, getting it started. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.